I would like to give you my story, how I started dairy farming. I used to work in town, Nairobi, for the longest. And then I came over to the village. And I'd gone to visit my friend. And apparently he was uh, invited for a meeting that was organized by Ilri and Performita. And they were meeting the dairy cooperative societies, namely Luli and uh, Soy Husband. So I was ushered there in because I'd explained to him my interest in studying dairy farming at the village. It so happened I met them there and they took us some training and uh, we exchanged contacts and they promised that they would come and uh, help me out in starting some uh, dairy project at my place. So it didn't take them long. Within a month they came over and they surveyed my farm and we agreed where we were going to first uh, plant the fodder because they told me you cannot start the dairy farming without the fodder. They sent over one of the DFS, uh, that was April last year. Uh, so we started off by planting uh, the panicum, and then we also, uh, they gave me some other seeds that we propagated at that time. And uh, in three months' time, we were ready to you know, start the construction of the house. So we constructed the units, and then after a month, by October, we brought in our first two animals. One Freshian and the other uh, Asha. My story, I can say, have been supported really by uh, the DFS on the ground, right from scratch all up to where we are. Up to when we were doing the unit, they supported me in giving me the designs and they even supported me in uh, uh, coming up with the, the feeds formulations. So, so far, I'm happy to report that. Uh, we are doing quite well, uh, we still baby steps, however, we so far we are doing 40 liters from two animals. The third one we are hoping that they will give, she will give us 20, so three animals will give us 60 to 70 liters. What I can say is uh, it requires a lot of commitment, uh, a lot of uh, uh, consultation with the performita, elderly people. Uh, who have really made me where I am because I knew nothing about dairy. Without them, I would not be here. So I'm very, very happy and uh, to be associated with them. And uh, you, as you can see, all this fodder, I wouldn't have had it if it were not of them. So as I tell my story, I must admit that it was them who actually ventured, uh, who helped me venture into this project. Some of the challenges that we've been experiencing in the farm are mainly diseases with the dairy animals, but um, through them they also come and uh, advise us on what to do. Uh, you can see we are young, we are not yet even one year old, so we rely a lot of uh, information that we receive from them to make us better. So um, uh, it has taken about uh, 10, 10 months to be where we are and our plan is to expand uh, the project. So I'm still consulting them on how we can uh, improve on the cow comfort. Um, I was given some training and I was taken to a particular farm where I was shown what to do when I want to expand the project, what to consider in terms of cow comfort, what to consider in terms of the different separation, the dry cows, the in calf, the maternity, all that. So I'm going to incorporate that in the next phase of the project. Hopefully that will be towards the end of this year. And I'm still relying on them on technical advice because I was a novice, I didn't know about dairy. But through them, now I'm, I'm learning and trying to become an expert and also uh, bring in the local community to learn from me, help them uh, understand what they need to do because if it were not for them, I wouldn't have been here and I want now to extend the same thing to my local community around. As we expand further, um, how I wish probably we can have another extension wing to tackle about um, uh, uh, the diseases, animal diseases and how to, you know, uh, to uh, address them because we do realize that uh, there are so many challenges that come in and uh, uh, 
trying to get vets can be a challenge as well. However, if we can get a lot of trainings on detection of certain diseases, how to manage them, what to do in case you see certain signs, that would be very, very important. So thank you very much and I hope when you come next, next year, you'll find an expansion that has taken place. Thank you very much.